Neolab is not necessarily a company you might have heard of on a regular basis, but Lamy sure is. They do collaborations with their EMR styluses with companies like Fujitsu, Supernote, and even iFlyTech out of mainland China. This is a collaborative project between Neolab and Lamy. Everything about this is also made in South Korea, which is very nice and it's actually refreshing to see. We're going to crack this open. It is obviously covered with a reflective surface because that is the plastic that covers it. Don't worry. And also, we'll note that this is not an electronic device in the traditional sense. It's not an e-reader. It's not a tablet. It has nothing to do with e-ink. But Lamy sent this to us anyways because we have reviewed a lot of Lamy products, including all the Fujitsu stuff and the Supernote stuff, etc. So this is what comes in the box here, is what it looks like. Everything is very nicely laid out. And you know what? This is one of the few times we've seen everything cut out, laser cut out like this. But it's not just paper or foam. They put this layer of almost canvas jean material on the top that surrounds the entire top layer. Very nice layout. If you crack this open, it tells you your USB cable is here. It does look like they are using micro USB, which isn't good or bad, and it is just meant to charge the unit because it is not an electronic device in the traditional sense where you have to charge this up with the USB-C because you have this much milliamp battery, etc. This is the pen itself right here. Now this is not the Lamy All-Star Black. This one is very different because it has a charging port at the bottom and it has a torque screw so you can open it up and service the device if you're so keen on doing that. You also have a status indicator light and you have some information here. What this is, is a camera in there. And what it does is it actually draws on the piece of paper and the piece of paper itself is littered with a lot of micro dots. So when you draw on this with the pen that only this pen that is included it actually tells the pen where it is on the page it's very interesting and we'll get into that in a full review this pen however does very much look like a standard Lamy pen we might even be able to crack it open it doesn't look like it opens up like the Lamy all-star or even their regular ballpoint and fountain pens so we're going to open up this and just put this off to the side you have a user guide it looks like on the side here and it looks like it did unfortunately from factory get stuck with a little bit of glue residue but that's totally fine that did not look like it was on purpose so if you guys lose your startup guide you can go ahead and pause the video at any time on this page it is 4k so you should be able to get a good idea of what it looks like it tells you how to charge it is written in english korean and german of course because that is where lamy has originated put that off to the side and of course we'll get into all this in a full review but for now we're going to crack this open as i said everything is made in korea all the way down to the pen pad and the outside and everything like that so it's very nice because in recent times in terms of things in our industry not many things have been made in south korea maybe the kyobo mirasol reader but that was about it so you have the digital paper it's called, but it's not a digital paper like a Sony DPT or a Fujitsu, it's just digital paper in their own right. So as you open this up, you get a little card here, paper controller. I have absolutely no idea what that does. You probably just tap on it and it changes all the colors and everything respectively. We'll wait on that. So it tells you first opening this up, you can share and bookmark on the top corner, search in the middle and connect via your app on your smartphone it looks like. Again, full review will show all of this. Now this page is actually littered with little tiny micro dots aside from the big grey dots you see there. That tells where the pen is on the page. So when I'm drawing over here on your smartphone app, it's going to know that it's over there. And assumingly you can click these and change the color because this pen does have a camera inside that transmits all that data. This is kind of like a Royole Rowrite, but in a way different way, because this way it's using an actual camera on the pen rather than just a regular old pen. So this is a very nicely laid out and very high quality ledger. It is called a digital paper but it is a ledger and it is a soft cover 210 millimeters by 145. This is everything that comes in the box. Stay tuned for a full review on the Neolab X Lamy or vice versa whatever way you want to go about it. Completely made in Korea. Collaboration with Lamy. Lamy's been on the up and up ever since. They had all these collaborations with major manufacturers in the industry 
history, keep staying tuned to GoodyReader.com and wait for the review to come soon. For GoodyReader.com and an unboxing, this is Peter. 